Hey everybody, Gina DeLuca here. It is Labor Day and I am laboring. Uh, today I am trying the glow in the dark paints, but with a light background. They did sell really well, but the dark background kind of swallowed up some of that bright color because I believe these are all transparent. I made a little test sheet and uh, they are pretty see-through, the green especially. So uh, we're gonna do a straight pour with a white background and it's uh, the paints are mixed one part paint, two parts Floetrol, and that straight Floetrol that it's mixed with. And it is thinned with a mixture of 90% water and 10% Floetrol. This is a 12 by 12 canvas, and that will require a little over five ounces of paint. The consistency, uh, it's very thin. And when you drizzle your paint into your cup, it should disappear immediately. It should not make a mound. If it makes a mound, it is still too thick. Okay, I'm gonna lay a little bit of this white down in the cup. The opaque in a straight pour typically falls to the background and the paints that have a matte finish particularly if they are semi-transparent they will form cells upon stretching the ones that are transparent may or may not make cells Quite often they blend with the semi-transparents and give a very cool 3D effect. Sometimes they just disappear completely. So I'm gonna do the same order that I did before because that seemed to work well. I will just sit my cup down there, hopefully you can see. First I'm gonna do my green. That did not sink the way I would like. It may be too thick. Did it thicken up? It did thicken up a little bit. Bummer. The orange. And then pink. I can already see that these colors mixing with the white have a very opal look to them, so yay. But let's see if we can get them to sell. Pop these bubbles. Uh, 
All right, which direction do I want to start? I think I'll come this way and catch this corner and stretch out those existing cells. Recenter your paint before changing direction. I will go this way and stretch those cells that are in that corner. Okay, and now I'm just going to move this around because there should be some cells that pop up over here. Just stretching the paint. Not really trying to dump any more off. Just, oop, schmutz. Schmutz alert. I'm done in a second. Okay, I'm gonna let this sit for a bit. Let it work its magic. There will probably be a lot more cells popping up over here. And hopefully with that white background, they will maintain some of their vibrancy. We shall see. All right, back in a few. 
Okay, well this has been sitting for a while. I really like what's going on over here. That lacing with the white is very cool. So uh, I will let this dry overnight and come back and show you what it looks like when it's completely dry. So uh, I guess hang tight and you'll see the dried piece. All right, back in a few. Okay guys, here it is dry. I could not have asked for a better result. This area looks very cool. And it glows, like really glows, much better than the, uh, the ones with the dark background. Um, it won't show up on camera though. It's just not bright enough to register in a dark room, unfortunately. But um, it actually has some color to it when it's glowing, like this area, you know, maintains like that pinkish orange. And then the green and yellow um, come through. So I am psyched about this one. And I will probably be doing a big one with these colors. Because I just think it's cool. So, uh, yeah. Thank you very much for watching. Please like and share and subscribe and all that stuff. Uh, check out the description box below for all my links to my PayPal tip jar should you be so inclined. Uh, go make some art on Facebook, my website, which I will be posting paintings for sale up there from now on uh, starting this week. I will get to that this week by Grabthar's Hammer. My paintings will be up on my website, at least some of them. And uh, my Amazon store link is also in there. Anything that you purchase, when you enter through my store, I make a small percentage of, at no extra cost to you. That's how I stay afloat and keep myself stocked up in paints through the support of y'alls. So uh, thanks again for watching. I hope you have a beautiful day and glow make some art. Okay, that was horrible. I know, but I couldn't help myself. <laughs> Bye, y'all.